Hello everyone, we're looking at investigation two now from the sine function and it starts with uh, this function, the first page, I'll do the first page with you again, y equals sine of 2x, sine of 2x. So let's think about what position that 2 is in, okay, the difference between y equals sine x, the most basic sine function, and this is that 2, and what position is it in? It's in the b position. Okay, and therefore it's going to change the period. It's the horizontal stretch. It's going to change the period of that function. Okay, so um, I'm just leaving the y equals sine x. We've already done that, but yes, you have to do it for each of these pages, and you also have to draw it for each of these pages, please. Okay, I left that in from investigation one, though, so it's, it's the same. All right, so now let's complete this table of values. Uh, start down here at 0 again, so 0, we need to substitute that in for the x. So when we do that, we have y equals sine 2 times 0, okay? So 2 times 0 is 0, so we're actually looking for the sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Okay, now next one, pi over 2. So substitute a pi over 2 in here which means, simplify this, we're actually looking for the sine of pi, and when we look at the unit circle, sine of pi is zero. Oh dear, okay. Uh, next one, the sine of two times pi, two times pi, we're substituting pi in for x, so the sine of two pi is zero. So when x is pi, this is e y is equal to zero. Next one, three pi over two. Three pi over two. This is the same as sine of six pi over two, which is simplified to three pi. So sine of three pi all the way around once and one more half rotation. So that is equal to zero as well. And two pi, last one in the positive direction that we're looking at for now. 2 pi, so sine 2 times 2 pi is the sine of 4 pi, sine of 4 pi, which is two rotations around the circle, again bringing us back to zero. Okay, let's put these points on our graph. So zero, zero, uh, pi over 2 and zero, pi and zero, 3 pi over 2 and zero, and 2 pi and zero. So, this is a sine function. Let's think about this for a minute. Does it make sense that we're getting a straight line? Obviously not. Sine functions are waves. Okay, so we need to figure out what is happening in between each of these places. So what's a convenient number we can use in between each of these places? Halfway in between 0 and pi over 2 is pi over 4. So let's use that, pi over 4. So let's go back over here and add that into our table of values. In other words, we're going to add more things into our table of values. I'm going to choose in between here and here, in between 0 and pi over 2, is pi over 4. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that in for x, pi over 4, pi over 4, and that's equal to sine of 2 pi over 4, which is the sine of pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 brings us up here and that equals 1. Okay, so pi over 4 and 1. So here we are here. All right, let's do this uh, around the circle some more. So 3 pi over 4 would be another good one to have. Substitute that in here. 3 pi over 4, which is 6 pi over 4 which is the same as sine of 3 pi over 2. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So that gives us this ordered pair, 3 pi over 4 and negative 1. 3 pi over 4 is here, negative 1, so that's a point here. So you can kind of see what's going to happen now. Let's keep going. Let's choose a number in between pi and 3 pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2, so that's 5 pi over 4. 
And when we substitute 5 pi over 4 here, we get 10 pi over 4, which is the same as 5 pi over 2, which is all the way around plus 90 more degrees, and that is positive 1. So 5 pi over 4, and so 5 pi over 4 would be here in between pi and 3 pi over 2, and that brings us back around to 1. So now we can see the pattern has been instituted. It's like this, and that pattern will actually just continue. You can continue to do more points in between here, but this pattern will continue over 1 grid over 2. So here, we come down to here, and then around here, here, and that continues. It also continues that same Thing back in the other direction. So negative 1 here, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh -huh. And look what happens. So in this same space from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi, where with our black graph y equals sine x, we had two periods, one, two. How many periods do we now have? One, two, three, four. So twice as many periods, okay? Twice as many periods in the same space as before. So let's think about that. Period is equal to two pi over b. In this case, our b is two. 2 pi over 2, which equals pi. Now, does this make sense? Is the period of this green graph pi? Let's start at any point. You can start anywhere and see if that distance is pi before it starts repeating itself. Yes. So there's one full wave up and down to here, and that distance is pi. Okay, great. What else do we need to say here? Uh, we need to, so you'll have to fill in the rest of that. And we need to do maximum, minimum, period, amplitude, and principal axis again. So for y equals sine 2x, maximum, maximum is still 1, same as our base graph. The minimum is still negative 1. The period we just figured out is pi. Uh, the amplitude, amplitude. Did it change at all? No. The max and min are the same as the max and min of the black graph. Therefore, amplitude stays the same at 1. And the principal axis, did it change? That middle line that splits the graph between the top half and the bottom half stayed the same. Y equals 0. OK, so your job is to finish this investigation. Send it to me. I'll give it a check. Have fun.